Good morning, good evening, good afternoon. That's the greatness about watching these videos. It doesn't matter where you are, where you decide to pull up this video and watch it. What are we going to talk about today? Well, first, allow me to introduce myself. I'm Mr. Krause, English teacher at Downey High School. And today I'm going to talk briefly about how to set up an account with Turnitin.com and then submitting an essay using Google Docs. For those of you that already have an account, feel free to skip about a minute and a half into the video to watch to see how I upload a document using Google Docs to Turnitin.com. All right, let's get started. If you'll notice, I'm at Turnitin.com. Feel free to use your favorite search engine to Google it and get started. What we need to do is create an account. Good news is they're free to create as long as your school has a, an account. So we're going to use an email address. I'll get that going rather shortly. Fast typing. Uh, be sure to click uh, student account. And then you're going to need the class ID. That comes from your teacher. So I'm going to go ahead and fill that stuff in. Along with the uh, class enrollment password, it's another thing you'll need from your teacher. So let's type those. Uh, you'll notice the green arrows over here on the right as you are entering information to make sure it's accurate. It's a nice little thing. And then fill in a little bit of information. Please be accurate for your teachers. Also, um, be sure that you are using the ID number for the class. Uh, not this one, right? This is for a class for Mr. Kraus, and it may not be your class. So make sure you check with your teachers. A couple of options there after entering your name. Uh, please be sure to be accurate. Uh, but I like the first one. Go ahead and first name, last name, just simple. And uh, re-enter your email address. It seems to like it. Scroll down and continue with the prompting. Password, uh, let you guys decide. Keep it uh, secret. Password safety and security. It's always best. And remember, you're dealing with your academic life, your academic career, and your integrity is essential. So keep that password private. So here we are uh, with the class already loaded. Uh, we need to click on it so we can submit an assignment. We're going to click Submit. A um, couple of bits of information it'll do for you automatically. Submission title, I recommend keeping it similar to the title of the assignment. Uh, for my particular class, I'll go ahead and Highlight the standard we're working on, characterization, and the format we were using for expository analysis, the CQT format, with a little twist. Twist, excuse me. Uh, one more thing, please don't cut and paste. Please upload a document. That way you can be sure your MLA format is accurate. Uh, give it a second to upload. Excuse me, give it a second to switch over. You'll see down here, choose from this computer. That's if you typed on the old school way on the computer. Or there's your cloud options, Dropbox, and the example I'll be modeling is from Google Drive. You need to select an account that has a document with it. And once you click on one of the documents, it will ask you to select it. Click Select. Pretty easy stuff. A little secondary option here to make sure you are ready to upload that title. So I'll go ahead and upload it and give that just a few seconds to work. Oh, I need to redo the title. Uh, as it's uploading there, make sure you're, it will not upload an essay that's less than 20 characters or 20 words, I believe which is nice, that makes sure you are uploading a completed assignment, usually essays, right, for turnedin.com. Gives you a little bit of a visual in case you want to double check or change anything. Uh, visual from far, I love the MLA format by this student. Uh, don't forget, in the um, comment section, uh, description of this video, I will post a link to the MLA format video posted on YouTube, so you guys can make your Google Doc look just this nice. So I'm gonna click confirm, because it's good. And it tells me, congratulations, it's been submitted prior to the deadline. Because once it stops, it stops. Good luck to you guys. If you have any questions, ask your English teacher. Uh, as for me, I look forward to seeing you guys on the next school day. Have a good one.